It appears, though, uh, I think you were, someone reported that one of the reasons why you chose Philly was because you liked the scheme and, and your fitting. Um, mm -hmm. Is that true, and, and why is that the case? Um, I like to play in a defense that offers um, like a multiple look, play zone and man. And I think I, I make a lot of plays in both. So um, that's the reason why I like the scheme. What was the period of time like for you when you were kind of in limbo there in New York, not really knowing what your future was going to hold? Um, you know, I was very anxious because, uh, of course, I didn't know what decision they w was going to be made. Uh, so a lot of, a lot of anxiety throughout that period. Uh, but I knew just being patient and waiting, that eventually things were going to shake out and I was going to be in the right place. Did you start kind of looking around the league a little bit before you were even released to try to figure out where you might land? Um, not really. I know my agent was doing a lot of the work for me, so I was kind of letting them handle it and just trying to keep my mind off of it by working out and stuff and hanging out with the family. Is there anything else that attracted you to sign with the Eagles uh, other than this game? Um, I think um, the team that they were, they were building here um, and also – Getting an opportunity to play in front of these fans because I've been in, I played in front of these fans a few times when I was in Carolina and also in New York, and they're a pretty rowdy bunch. So I feel like it'd be pretty fun. How do you view the uh, opportunity to uh, team up with uh, Darius Slay? He was one of the better corners. So I've, I mean, I've been watching him since I've been in the league, um, and I admire his game a lot. Um, and I feel like it'd be a great opportunity to learn from him, but also you know play alongside him because he's a great corner. What have, I guess your initial um, impressions or you know interactions been like with him? I didn't realize he was that funny, you know. He, had, he has a big personality, um, talks a lot, but it's, he's funny. How do you view uh, last season compared to the previous seasons that you had in your career? Hmm. I think uh, last year was comparable to um, a couple other seasons that I had. You know, um, we didn't do too well overall, uh, but I tried to do my best and I uh, tried to make plays. And um, I, I would say that's very comparable to some of the other seasons that I had. Was uh, Slay trying to recruit you at all? Like, were you hearing from him at all ever since the Giants let you go? No, nah, not really. I know a lot of people saw, like, tweets and stuff on Twitter, but that was, that was about it. You had a chance to see the Eagles defense just being from the sidelines last year. Um, what did you think about the Eagles defense last year? Of course, I admired Darius Slay's uh, game, so I knew he was here. And, of course, uh, Fletcher, Fletcher Cox, uh, Graham was here. I knew they had a sweat. I knew they had a great front seven. Um, so I also admired their front seven that they had. Why, why are you good in zone packages where you can have your eye on, eyes on the QB? Um, why does that play to your strengths? Um, I, I feel like I'm a, a smart player, and I feel like I can uh, read concepts. Um, so I, that's what helps me out in, in zone coverages. How do you feel about the timing of the release after the draft? First of all, I, I understand that it's a business. So I have to, um, I was putting my, my business cap on first and understanding that, you know, I'm an asset. So I understand that they want something for me. So that was part of the game. Personally, didn't necessarily like it, but, you know, it's a business at the end of the day. Um, and I understand that. So it's part of, it's part of signing a one year deal, uh, the hope that you can then hit the market again next, next offseason at the right time? For sure. Being that it happened, do you feel there's any extra animosity or looking forward to these upcoming two Giants games coming up this season? I'm looking forward to every game that we play next year. Um, it's 17 games. Um, I know we have to win a lot of them to make it to the playoffs. So I'm looking forward to all the games that we play. Seeing this Eagles offense last year, what stood out to you? Can you say it again? Seeing the again. Eagles offense last year as an opponent, what, what stood out to you? Of course, I was, I was matched up against Devontae Smith uh, for the bulk of it. Um, so I was able to uh, study him and watch him play. And I feel like he was a great receiver. Um, and then after, like once, once we got to the offseason, they made the, the move to get um, Brown. So I knew tagging those two guys up together would make a, a good combination. Um, so overall, I think the offense, uh, they got some good players on that side. So high hopes. Receivers commonly last year. And uh, if so, was it always the top guy, or was it typically the bigger receiver on the, uh, the offense? Uh, it was typically I had the um, the top guy. Um, I know sometimes we, we might have played a boundary field uh, just based on the team. It's kind of hard to, for me to remember and pinpoint which games they, they, those were. But most of the time I know we played in this division, I played the top guy. Have you formed an impression of Jonathan Gannon yet? So just based off the two days that I've been around here, um, I feel like 
he wants the best for the players, um, and he's willing to uh, make changes uh, based off you know the players' needs and the wants of the players. Um, so that's already a positive, uh, I guess, feedback that I get from him. Some of your, what are some of your needs uh, in terms of how you play? Do you play to your strength, like play your strengths? Um, I think I think as a coach, you should just be open um, to what a, a player likes to do. Like I said, I like to play a little bit man and zone. Uh, that requires me to play on and sometimes play off. Um, so just be flexible within the scheme and the uh, technique that the player uses. When you look at <coughs> you and Slay as, as a cornerback combination, like. How good do you think you know the two of you guys are compared to maybe other corners in, in the NFL? I think individually we're pretty good. Of course, we haven't played together yet, and I'm still also learning the scheme. So um, as I continue to learn the scheme and as we continue to the, uh, put the work in, you know, it'll, it'll formulate itself at the end of the day. But right now, I'm just trying to make sure I learn the scheme um, and make sure I'm good enough to you know, be, be good enough for this defense. What is the potential for you, you two as, as a tandem? I mean, potential only gets you so far, so I don't really want to speak on potential. I just know individually we're, uh, we're pretty good, so uh, the goal is to be great together. The Eagles were, were I think, one of the two or three team defenses to play the most zone last season. Um, what was it like in New York and you had a new scheme, and do you anticipate that will be kind of the norm here for this coming this season, you know, with you being kind of like maybe a, a zone cornerback? Uh, in New York, we played a, a mix of both, played zone and man, uh, just depending on the team that we were playing and also the um, the situation in the game. Um, and me, I personally expect the same thing here. You know, it's just going to be based off whatever that we need at the moment. Um, I know last year they might have played a lot of zone, but I know things change based off year to year. Appreciate it.